Hey everybody, all right, Zane from Really Easy AI, and we're back. Uh, we are trying to recover from the disaster that was Kling AI. Again, granted, it was made in China and that sort of thing. Uh, I want to hit you with another made in China item, but one I think that has way more promise. So here it is from VentureBeat. Um, new high quality AI video generator, Pyramid Flow, launches and it is fully open source. That is the only kind of code I will take from China. This one looks like it's going to be a good one. Um, let's read. The number of AI video generation models continues to grow with a new one, Pyramid Flow, launching this week and offering high quality video clips up to 10 seconds in length, quickly, and all open source. Developed by a collaboration of researchers from Peking University, Beijing University of Posts, uh, Telecommunications, and Kaishao Technology, the latter, the creator of the well-reviewed proprietary clean AI video generator that sucks giant donkey balls, Pyramid Flow leverages a new technique wherein a single AI model generates video in stages, most of them low resolution, saving only a full res version for the end of its generation uh, process. So there it is. And it talks about where you get it, some of the comparisons being made. Um, let's uh, let's give it a shot. So <coughs> let's jump into it. First and foremost, where can you get it? And again, I'll include all the links in the description, so you'll get the link to the article. You'll get the link to their GitHub repository. Here it is. Uh, interestingly enough, they don't include a Docker file, so that's fun. But don't worry, I'll show you how you can get one if you want to run it locally. Uh, it may be a little too beefy. In the past, I've found that these things can tend to be pretty beefy. So generally running them uh, locally is a little bit prohibitive unless you're really patient. Uh, but, but good news, because you can also find it on Hugging Face. There it is, Pyramid Flow SD3. And uh, they got all kinds of good stuff going on. Uh, they talk about, uh, they get into the details and uh, even some code that you can use. So that's awesome. Uh, so that looks really, really good. The big thing I want to take away is the usage tips because they do have some advanced things you can play with. They talk about guidance scale, um, video guidance scale, and some stuff here. Let's go ahead then. And as you might expect, they do have a space for it as well in Hugging Face Spaces, which is really what you're here for. I suspect. So we're going to start kind of small and build up and test a whole bunch of different things. Uh, let's do this first. Uh, here it is, kind of raw and ready to go. I think we'll start simple by just saying a teddy bear waving hello. Just go with that. And all the default settings, we'll have it generate. Uh, now, uh, it uses zero spaces, so it's got to grab a, a GPU, which is a H100. So it's going to be a nice beefy GPU when it finally does grab it. Uh, there we go. Acquired a GPU and we're good to go. By the way, Zero Spaces is free. I do have a pro account, full disclosure. I recommend you get a pro account, more full disclosure, especially if you do this a lot like I do. Uh, I love these models. I love Hugging Face. Uh, so uh, I'll go ahead and pause now. It's going to be 113 seconds. This is accurate, by the way. Every time I've run it, it's been very accurate in its prediction. And so uh, I'll give it a second here to run, and then we'll pick up in just a minute. Okay, we got a result. I haven't played it yet. There's our teddy bear. Let's see what, oh, we get three seconds of video. And teddy bear does nothing. Okay. Okay, well, then there's that. So we'll try a different approach. Let's go back to the recommendations, and we'll look at the advanced stuff and try that. So first, let me do the advanced settings. There's a few advanced settings we can do, frames per second, guidance scale, video guidance scale. Um, so let's take a peek here. Nope, oh, there's something vacuuming in the background. So the guidance scale controls the visual quality, guidance within seven to nine. All right, let's do that. Guidance scale, well, seven to nine. Um, video guidance scale controls the motion, a larger value increases the degree and mitigates the autoregressive generation while smaller you stable uh, smaller value stabilizes the video for 10 second we recommend using a guidance scale of seven a video guidance scale of five okay mm, i don't think we got much here uh so uh and i'm keeping the frames low uh let's see if they got any more recommendations here following video examples are generated at five da, da, da. for more results see, see our project page okay 
Let's go take a look at the project page. And, oh, you know what? I got to keep this, though. So I'll include the project page with everything. All right, here's the project page. Beautiful, snowy, blah, 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 blah. How do we tell it 10 seconds or not, though? There's no, no way to tell it that. Uh, let's, let's try this. We'll take this one, then, and, and give it a shot. A beautiful, snowy Tokyo city is bustling. Okay, so maybe more detail is the way to go. Not sure. Let's try their own prompt with the settings real quick and see if we get what they tell us we're going to get. All right, it's going to grab a GPU and then it's going to generate. And I'll be back after it's done generating. <clears throat> okay, this is a new one. The prediction was 113 seconds, but it's at 127 seconds. I hadn't really seen that before. Usually it's spot on. Uh, I don't think it's a huge deal, but let's see how much longer it goes over. Well, it's still cranking. All right, I'll let you guys know when it's done. Oh, there it is. It's done. Okay, it was about 140-something seconds. Huh. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, looks like we got a three-second clip this time. And they're walking for three seconds. Okay. That's interesting. Can we tell it how long we want it to be? I don't know. They're not really indicating. And there's no way that I can see to tell it. This is uh, uploading a vi uh, an image. We'll get to that later on. But there's no way I can see to tell it how long. So why don't we say a five minute video showing a beautiful snowy. Well, let's mix it up a little bit. Uh, beautiful snowy New York City um, that is bustling <clears throat> through the bustling street following several people <clears throat> okay <clears throat> let's give that a shot because I don't see anywhere you can tell it how long the video should be which is super interesting you exceeded your free GPU quota free GPU oh that's right damn hang on I gotta switch to my paid account that was all using free GPU hang on a second Okay, I switched over to my paid account, which is cool. I mean, at least you saw I got a couple good generations out of the uh, free one. But here we go. Same thing, five-minute video, New York City. Uh, let's go ahead and generate. This one should generate, yeah, a whole lot faster because it's on my paid. Oh, yeah, look at it. Oof, big difference. So away it goes. And we'll come back uh, when it's done. Yeah, it's, it's grabbing those GPUs. Okay, it's done. Um, nope, still three seconds. Not sure what we have to do to get it to do more than a little bit. Uh, this is kind of weird. There's share and download. I don't see any setting that allows me to tell it how long it's going to be. So that kind of blows. Um, but okay. All right, well, that appears to be generating. So how about maybe we say a long video? I don't know. A long video? Let's try that. Let's see, generate video. It's going way faster, by the way, or at least it's hitting the 113 second mark. Uh, man, that thing just blazes when you got the paid account. I should have noticed it was running really, really slow. All right, we'll come back when it's done. <clears throat> okay, I tried everything I could think of, including cranking everything up all the way. Still only got a second. It looks like a really good second, um, you know, given that it's open source, but... <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so uh, we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to upload an image and see if it does the image thing. Give me a sec. Okay, I've uploaded an image here. Blast from the past, Teddy Ruxpin. And uh, I'm going to give it a prompt. A, a teddy bear uh, walking into frame uh, and waving to um, the audience. There we go. And then advanced settings, uh, just for fun, let's just crank it all up, see what we get, and generate a video. So with any luck, we'll get some goodness. Maybe half a second of the teddy bear stepping. We'll see. I think I may have broken the matrix here. Uh, it was 113 estimated. We're at 248 now. Well, 250. Uh, so I'll come back when it's done, whenever it's done. Okay, yeah. It looks like we broke something. I got an error. So I'm going to ease back on the uh, settings a bit here. Let's see, I think it's only 8 or 24. 
I'll ease back on this. Do about an 8.7 there, maybe a full on 8. Make this one a 5, or how about 6? Let's try it again. And away it goes. Okay, we'll come back when it's done, hopefully. Okay, I'm not sure this is good news or not, but we're at 1,090 seconds so far. And still churning. Haven't gotten an error yet, so let's see what we get. Okay, boys and girls. Uh, I think we're going to have to call a ball on this one. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll do a quick refresh. But it looks like, yeah, it's gone. Okay, anyway, all right, so interesting success and failure. Not sure I can recommend it. I don't think it qualifies as a runaway screaming opportunity either, though, because it is fully open source, and what we're seeing now is the worst it's going to be. It can't go anywhere but up from here. So, yeah, let's keep an eye on it and see how it plays out. I definitely would not be doing any production work with it at this point. And with that said, that's Pyramid Flow. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.